Hi, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business. And recently, Hilda, one of my tribe asked, how do you save a search exactly? So I realized I didn't have a very good description anywhere on YouTube or on my blog. Now, before we talk about how to save a search, let's talk about why do you want to save a search? And the reason why is because when you save a search on LinkedIn, LinkedIn will actually send you weekly an updated list of new people who fall into that particular search algorithm. If you are searching for prospects, essentially LinkedIn is sending you leads. So whether you're looking for donors for your nonprofit or you're looking for candidates uh, for your business or you're looking for new clients um, because you're a consultant or a contractor, you work in sales and marketing, um, or you're looking for a job, you're looking for a future employer. All of those are prospects. And when you do a good advanced search on LinkedIn and save that search, LinkedIn sends you prospects, which is exactly what this email is. These are people, new people who fell into a search that I did for event planners, and they're all first level connections, meaning I can just send them a message. So these are all prospects for me that LinkedIn is sending me for free every week. So let's take a look at how to do this. First of all, you wanna make sure that you're using the advanced search on LinkedIn, not this old little searchy box right here. The advanced search on LinkedIn. Even with the free account, you have a whole lot of options as far as keywords and title and company and even location of where you wanna search. Now, once you have created a search that you like, so in this case, um, I'm looking for people who are uh, sales directors or VP of sales, um, but are not necessarily in LinkedIn or talking about LinkedIn, because they would be competitors. In this case, it doesn't really matter if they're current or past employees, but I can also always choose current employees. And then I can search where in particular in the US or in the world that I wanna find these new prospects. So once I have that search algorithm, then I get my results. And once I have those results, I can actually just click on save search I'm probably going to name it something that makes sense to me. I'm not sales, not LinkedIn isn't an indicator that I'm looking for uh, VPs of sales. So that's that's one thing I would do is rename it. And then I just click on the checkbox. Yep, I'm happy with that. And again, every week LinkedIn will send me new leads according to that particular search algorithm. Now, once you have those leads, what you do is up to that is up to you, right? So um, I've got a whole course on that called High Quality LinkedIn Leads. Not only how to use LinkedIn's advanced search as well as Boolean search, that's what these ors and or nots that you're seeing in here are, um, but how do you then nurture those relationships with those people that you found? How do you reach out to them? How do you engage with them with the first time? How do you sell them without selling them? Because you actually can't sell on LinkedIn. You can just create relationships that can lead to sales on LinkedIn. So the first step though is finding those ideal prospects, saving your search so that you can begin to build your network with these ideal prospects. Hope that was helpful to you. And if you want to learn more, just go to highqualitylinkedinleads.com.